Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today I am tackling one of my most requested videos and that is a complete sewing room tour. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't really know what you guys want to know, but I'm gonna go through each area and hopefully um, show you what you wanna see. Um, this is my cutting table. Also, I wanna point out that this is not how it normally looks with like nothing on the floor and like everything all cleaned off. I just literally cleaned it. Um, but anyway, so this is my cutting table. So I just got a gigantic like folding picnic table basically. And then I boosted it up using those under bed um, risers, bed risers, so that it comes to hip width because I didn't like like leaning over and I couldn't uh, get it to adjust any taller than it already was. You can see the little notches there. It wouldn't go any higher. So anyways, I use the bed risers. That's a really good um, trick to get it to lift up. Um, I also leave my cutting mats out um, I almost make like the surface of this table, like a cutting mat permanently. Um, and then I have this fun little caddy that I got at Michael's and it holds most of what I need when I'm here at the table. So, um, scissors and different drafting rulers and I don't know, all kinds of kind of random stuff. It ends up being a bit of a catch all actually, if I'm being honest with myself, but um, it's all there. It has little drawers for other things. And then I also like hang, um, that's an elastic threader. And then this is stay tape and wonder tape. So it is pretty handy to have everything here in one place and then it rotates. And then I got this cute guy from Target and it holds my pens and my pattern weights and some pencils. This has measuring tape and other marking tools. This has nothing that's empty. Um, some more pens. This is like my tracing wheel and there's an X-Acto knife. This has my wonder clips and this has like hand sewing needles, but I wanna show you it. I got it at Goodwill. Look. So in love. Isn't that cute? She's sewing a heart patch on his butt. Um, yeah, found that at Goodwill. And I just lost a pin. Oh, here. Okay, and it's not Barry. <laughs> okay, the pins fall out, but that's okay. Um, what else? I have a little thread catcher. And I kind of got this idea from Rachel Ray because she always has like a garbage bowl where she throws away like her food scraps. So I have my own version of a garbage bowl um but it like catches like little threads and little scraps that are just teeny tiny and i just toss them in there really quickly i have a wall mounted television in the corner this ledge oh bane of my existence this is where like works in progress goes these are like all the patterns that i've recently sewn and just haven't put away yet i even have some patterns where i can't find the envelope i don't know it's not cute. It's not great. And I need to figure out a better way, but that's it for now. Um, here are some, um, PDF patterns that I have printed and I didn't want to fold them up. So I rolled them up, but as you can see, judging by that, like it's not great. Um, the ones that I haven't cut up, like this is my tunic Bible, um, one, um, and that's like PDF plotting, tracing paper, those hold up really well. It's the other ones that I need to reconfigure and reconsider. So, and this is not like one of those videos where I'm like pointing out all my flaws, no. Okay, we're gonna move on. <laughs> so this is my fabric. All my fabric lives in these, what, two, four, six, eight, 12 um, little cubes, except for that over there. And except for some stuff I have in the closet, I'll show you in a second. But basically, it originally was categorized by lightweight at the top all the way down to heavyweight stuff at the bottom. And then it was woven on the left and knit on the right. But as my stash has grown, it's kind of gotten a little bit jumbled. It's still like that a little bit. 
um, that is kind of the idea was I needed to organize it by fabric type and I thought lightweight woven would be like the first thing that my mind would go to. So I wanted to have a bin for lightweight wovens. And then if I wanted like heavyweight knit, I would know to go to the bottom right one. Does that make sense? So for the most part, it's still like that. There are some, some outliers, but for the most part, it's like that. Um, that up there is just backup storage. I have all my linings in this one labeled lining. There are some scrapbooks and my Taylor Swift magazines, obviously. Um, my batting is in there. I have some magazines and some like manuals and stuff like that in there. This is all the fabric I got in this year's New York trip. I have some home deck fabric up there that I don't use very often. I've got all my sewing books. I got all my pressing tools. This is my bias tape maker and that's like a little USB speaker. And then I have some notions like zippers, markers, buttons. These are all of my labels. That's not a label. You know what I mean? All my labels. That's just a little, so that's the only thing that's in there. I don't know. It's just too tall to put anywhere else. Then I have my interfacing. This is all the thread that needs to get put away. Um, these are backup bobbins. Down here I have some extra storage. Those are the bins and things organizers that I talked to you guys through a few months ago. That is my Cricut vinyl. That's my printer. That's my Sunny. That's where he hangs out. I think, is he asleep? I can't tell. Um, okay, and then over here, I'm really blessed to have these built-in shelves. I really love them. Um, these white boxes are all my patterns. The ones with the tags are like the modern day patterns. These ones up top are like vintage patterns that I literally never go into. So, um, but here are all my other patterns. And then I have my two Cricut Easy Press uh, I guess irons and then my Cricut maker and then that's the case for my brother. This is a fun little section of random pattern pieces that somehow got separated from their pattern envelope and so it's just like where they go to die. <laughs> but if ever I'm making something and I'm missing a pattern piece I come over here. It's usually never here so I don't even know <laughs> I have this but it's there um, and then I have all my rulers and my longer Cricut mats I have another um, cutting mat and then my like curvy rulers here are my two girls with nothing on them and then I have this closet oh, actually it looks like you can see in there really well so I have mounted the June, is it June Taylor um, thread racks? And I have serger thread on top and then polyester thread in the middle and then cotton thread on the bottom. My bobbin holder, those are the smaller Cricut mats. And then these are works in progress. Um, just some pillow forms. <laughs> this is where it starts to get junky in the closet. I have some of that random stuff up there, crafts and planning supplies, office supplies. I think that in these little bins, I think there's more works in progress in there if I'm being honest. But I have this little organizer, which I actually use a lot. It has um, my zippers. This is where tape and glue is. And here is elastic. So it's all those like funky notions that you know are hard to store I put them in a bin like that and then I have all my quilting cottons here in the middle this is planner stuff these are works in progress the this is planner stickers video camera video equipment random fabric works in progress these are like my literal winter coats because I don't have a coat closet well I do but it's being used for laundry um, that is all scrap fabric. All of those bins and that is all scrap fabric. I've got to figure out a plan for those. But there's that. And then I have my light. You can see behind the light is the iron. We have some ironing equipment, the ironing board, a stepladder, you know, all that jazz. So 
that's really it. I mean, that's my sewing room. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it other than there you go. There it is. And it's real raw form, just kind of tidied up more than usual. So I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know if you have any questions, if there's something that I didn't go over. Oh, there is something actually. I get a lot of questions about why I have two sergers and this one is actually a cover stitch, not a serger. So this is what creates the great top stitching on knit hems. Um, and then this is my serger here and then my sewing machine and then my cute Pottery Barn Teen office chair. Okay, now that is it. Oh no, it's not. I also have this thing, which is really cool. These are spice rack, spice holders um, that are magnetic. I got this board from like Home Depot or something and it holds like itty bitty notions. Like I have metal straight pins, I have paper clips, I have um, clothes pins, I have what's in there? Little clothes pins. These are um, safety pins. So and then room to grow and all of these don't have anything in them. So that's another cute little fun organizational item. What's back here? Decor. I made that. And then we have just a mirror, a floor length mirror. You guys have seen me take pictures in that before. And then under here is just some storage. I have my other PDF patterns, like the folded up ones in there. I have some more works in progress. Really the works in progress are like mostly fails that I'm having a hard time getting rid of. That's what's really happening. But anyways, that is it. That, is, you can see me, hi. Um, that is my sewing room. I hope you guys like it and let me know, I guess, what you think. <laughs> I hope this video was all that you dreamed of and more. Alrighty, I will see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs>